Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to set up your Nissan LEAF Gen 2 to 80% battery charge and back to 100%. Hello and welcome friends. In this video I'll talk about how to set up your uh, Nissan LEAF Gen 2 to charge to 80% and back to 100%. Limiting charging to 80% is recommended by the manufacturer. It's a great way to keep your battery in great conditions for a longer period. There are also two other benefits for limiting your charging to 80%. So if you bear with me until the end of this video, I will tell you about them. So I owned my Nissan LEAF generation 2 2014 for two years already and I ran on them for almost 60,000 kilometers so the car has been running for eight years and as you can see the battery is still showing 10 bars out of 12 most of the time I run on 80% to prolong the life of the battery However, when I'm planning to go on a longer drive and I wanted to avoid the risk of going on a lower battery, only then I'll charge to 100% to make use of the extra kilometers that that last 20% adds. So here is how to set up your Nissan LEAF Gen 2 to 80% and then switch back to 100%. And I hope you have the same model of my car so you can easily do that. So this car came directly from Japan, so the writing is all in Japanese and I struggled in the beginning to uh, charge to switch to 80% but then I figured it out thanks to Google Translate and the live camera translation. So here is how to set up to 80% and back. As you can see the driver's seat is on the right hand side uh, and when you look at the dashboard so you'll see uh, like those different menus. So the first button here we have is the um, uh, selection button. So this button helps you move between uh, like items on the menu. So if I click on it, as you can see here, I'll start to switch between different um, views and then until you come to this menu. And this is the menu that has all the magic. So now that I'm on this menu, I need to, to use the other button, which is the kind of a dot button to um, move between the items on this menu. So if I select the second one and um, then click on this one, then I'm on this menu. And then uh, in order to select again from the menu, so I'll switch between 100% or 80%. So my car right now is on 80%, so I'll, charge, I'll change it to 100%. So if I go here and then go back to this select or you can say OK button. Now it is like it is set up to 100% and in order for us to see this, so this I'll click on this button again to go out. And as you can see here, it's 100%. So let me show you how to go back to the 80%. So Again here, finding the menu, and then till here, and then select between the items on the menu, and then click OK. Then I'll go to the 80%, and then click OK, and now I am on 80%. And if I go back, it is set up to 80%. And this is how you switch between 80% and 100% on your Nissan LEAF uh, battery charge. And here is an extra tip to why you would rather charge on 80% rather than 100%. And it is related to the charging time. So you might think that the last 20% will need like extra, like maybe one fourth of the time that you use to charge from zero to 80%, but it's actually not quite right. The last 20% of charging the battery is very slow and it might take you much longer than you might have thought. So it might take up to 50% of the time that you use to charge your until 80. So for example, to put it into perspective, if you needed like 40 to 50 seconds to charge 1% before 85, once you cross this 
it will need much longer, maybe double the time. So uh, think about this wisely. The other reason why I recommend charging to 80% rather than 100% is that those first 20% when you start moving with your car, they go very fast. So they won't last you like, you know, like maybe 20 kilometers. They might take, they might last you even less, much less than that, maybe 10 or 15 kilometers rather than 20 or 25. So, it, I mean, it doesn't add a lot of like mileage to you know, the range that you will be using. I don't think you need them, but you can, I mean, if you're going on a longer ride, like. I do sometimes then yeah you can do that but otherwise I'd rather stick to the recommendation from the factory and to prolong my battery as much as possible I hope you found this tip useful if you like the content of this video smash the like button and leave me a line in the comment section thanks and bye for now